So you want to become a mad spirit? Get yourself down to the undead settlement. Here I am at the undead settlement bonfire. Walk the normal way uh, that you will go into the house with the thralls. Um, you usually have to hit that guy to get by him. I'm taking the shortcut here. If you run through, uh, I'm just running past this thrall here. The mound makers. The mound makers wish only to add to their mounds, becoming mad spirits, whether summoned as cooperators or invaders. It's a cool covenant. I like it. They are blithe to those around them, for in their minds any kill might lead to another shackle. So what you're going to want to do is, when you go across the bridge, go to the right here, just like I did, and there's a bunch of thralls here, and they're going to be shooting darts at you and stuff. And uh, actually, I started getting summoned right here. So you'll see, I started getting up, and then... I got knocked off. <laughs> and right around here is where I start getting summoned. <laughs> so I just kind of ran away. Uh, yeah, there we go. Getting summoned. Ah! So when you do this, maybe don't leave your summon sign. Um, but just give me a minute here. And then I, I skipped the loading. Uh, I skipped through the summon. It, it was just an invasion. And OK, so here I am back. They just took me right back next to the um, ladder. It actually didn't work out too bad. It actually, uh, you know, that was kind of nice. So you want to go up this ladder. This is the tricky one. Um, just, you know, you might have to kill a few of these thralls first before you get up there. And then what you're going to find is after you go down this ladder, uh, you're going to actually find a hollow manservant. Now, the other thing I have to mention is that make sure you haven't killed the curse rotted great wood yet. If you have, uh, then this doesn't work. But... If you haven't killed the Cursed Rotted Greatwood, you go here, you find this hollow manservant, you walk up behind him, don't run, because then he might turn around, and yeah, you just hit X when you get up to him, and you get this little cutscene. Here, I'll read a little more. Uh, a special bone collected by members of the Covenant of Mound Makers, discovered in the corpses of their victims. Only one such bone is found in the vertebra, and the Mound Makers believe it to be a shackle of the gods. In their minds, each victim is another connection in addition to the family. Mwah, ha, ha. So uh, that's for the vertebra shackles, which are their, um, you know, the, the item that, that you use to upgrade the covenant. So it takes you down here to the Pit of Hollows, uh, to the bottom below the, if you fought the great, rotted, the, the cursed great wood, um, the cursed rotted great wood before, then you'll know that the cursed rotted great, great wood drops down into this area halfway through the fight. Uh, hopefully you haven't beaten in, in, in this playthrough, because otherwise you can't get here till later. If, if you have beaten the Cursed Spotted Greatwood, it's much later that you're able to join um, the Mound Makers. But yeah, as soon as you've got through the cutscene and you're here at the bottom of the Pit of Hollows, just go over to Hodrick. Um, you might remember Hodrick because he attacks you uh, as an invasion uh, in, uh, elsewhere in this level. And uh, once you talk to the Holy Knight Hodrick at the sacrificial altar, you'll get the Mound Maker's Covenant item. And then you get a Homeward Bone, which um, is required, <laughs> you know, if you don't have any other way to, to get out of there. Obviously, if you have the Dark Sign, you can always use that. Um, but if you have already beaten the Curse Spotted Greatwood, you're not going to be able to... Uh, to do this, or if you killed Hodrick. So the only other way is to follow the Cirrus of the Sunless Realms quest line. Um, when you defeat Hodrick in Cirrus's world, um, then you'll get the, the Covenant item. All right, there it is. Uh, enjoy, enjoy being a mad phantom. When, when your Covenant item is equipped, you can leave signs and they will appear in other people's worlds as purple. When they summon you, you can help them uh, or harm them. You know, it's it's kind of fun. You, you get to uh, you know fight against NPCs and against uh, I mean against the you know enemies rather, as well as um, other players. So enjoy being a mad phantom, and good luck collecting those vertebra shackles. You'll also find uh, this silly shield here. Um, yeah, here I am trying it out. It, it doesn't let you... So if you have a weapon that has a weapon art and you hit L2, it doesn't actually let you... Uh, yeah, see, it doesn't... It doesn't it doesn't let you use the special attack or parry, but if you change your weapon out, um, 
like that, then it'll actually let you do a sort of shield punch. So that's kind of fun. Might be useful for a Mad Phantom cosplay build. Go through on a second playthrough, get two shields, and just, uh, you know, dual wield war god shields. Something like that. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for watching.